Right, so I'm going to show you how to easily connect to an FTP server and I'm going to show you two ways, how to use a command line way and how to use a basically program which is very, very simple and extremely basically good at, at what it is supposed to do. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your browser and you're going to type in FileZilla, right? Go to the first link and what you need is download FileZilla client, right? As soon as you download this, just install it. You don't need to buy any 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 subscriptions, you just need the on its own FileZilla client, right? So, and once you install it, all you can do is just basically click the FileZilla client or search it through your search bar. There you go, you can run it this way or either way, it's up to you. Okay, so now what you get is an icon. Now, obviously for this part, what you're gonna need is whatever you're trying to do. I guess you're obviously trying to connect to an FTP server. What you need is you need to have a IP address, a username, a password and the port number. So obviously, sometimes you may get different port numbers, so make sure that the port number you're trying to access is obviously the same one that you're allowed to or is open for connections. Okay, so in this, in my case, I'm just gonna run it on localhost. So I'm just gonna put my IP address, so it's gonna be 192.168.88.136. Username, username for me is just username123 and password, password and port number 21. And you can just press quick connect. Right, and as you can see, what we have successfully is connecting to the IP address, connection established, and as soon as this is a connection established and logged in, you have been successfully logged in into the FTP server, right? Now, what you get, as you can see, you can see files. So obviously it's, it's if you want to transfer files or host files or, or basically download or whatever you're trying to do, you're free to do so. You can drag files if you have permissions. You can download files if you have permissions. Now, if and you want you to use Linux to connect to your FTP server, it is basically the same as Windows. So if you put the same commands on Windows, it'll work. So let me actually show you. So what we need to do is put FTP and the IP address, right? So in my case, it's just 192.168.88.136. And obviously, if the port number is different, then all you need to do is put hyphen P and 21. And as you can see, it tells you Microsoft F FTP servers, which means we have successfully connected. However, we still need to put our credentials. So in this case, name one, two, three, and password is password, right? And as you can see, if you type in LS, as you can see, we have successfully managed to basically connect to the FTP server. And if I type in CD, which just stands for change directory, and type in LS again, as you can see, there's a file. So if I type in wget123.txt, Sorry, get, I think. There you go. Sorry, it was get 123.txt.txt. And what you can do is if you type in exit, and I just cap the file. And as you can see, well, there's nothing in it, but I've, if, if there'd be something in it, you, you could actually see it, right? So very, very simple and basically easy peasy lemon squeezy. Alright, so that'll be it for this video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, comment, and please don't forget to also check my other videos, which should be somewhere on the screen. If not, then go to my playlists.